you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 6th saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 15 verses 1 to 3 and 11 to 32 Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to him, listen to him and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying this fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them so he told them this parable there was a man who had two sons the younger of them said to his father father give me the share of the property that will belong to me so he divided his property between them a few days later the younger son gathered all he had and traveled to a distant country and there he squandered his property in dissolute living when he had spent everything a severe famine took to place throughout that country and he began to be in need so he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of uh, that country who sent him to his fields to feed the pigs he would gladly have filled himself with the pods that the pigs were eating and no one gave him anything but when he came to himself he said how many of my father's hired hands have bread enough and to spare but here i am dying of hunger i will get up and go to my father and i will say to him father I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me like one of your hired hands. So he set off and went to his father. But while he was still far off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran and put his arms around him and kissed him. Then the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, Quickly bring out your robe, the best one, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and saddles on his feet. And he in the fated half and kill it, and he let us eat and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead, and is alive again. He was not lost, and is found. and they began to celebrate now his elder son was in the field and when he came and approached the house he heard music and dancing he called one of the slaves and asked what was going on he replied your brother has come and your father has killed the fighter calf because he has got him back safe and sound then he came, became angry and refused to go in his father came out and began to plead with him but he answered his father listen for all these years i have been working like a slave for you and i have never disobeyed your command yet you have never given me even a young coat so that i might celebrate with my friends but when this son of yours came back who has devoured your property with the prostitutes you killed the fated calf for him then the father said to him son you are always with me and all that is mine is yours but we had to celebrate and rejoice because this brother of yours was dead and has come to life he was lost and has been found the gospel of the lord I praise you lord jesus christ dear friends catechism of the catholic church said there are some sins which are called capital based on what st john cassin and St. Gregory had said because they en- engender the other sins. The seven capital sins are pride, avarice, envy, wrath, lust, gluttony, and sloth. An author, Clyde A. Bonner, in his reflection on his, this parable of the lost son, he said that uh, the two sons commits all of the seven deadly or uh, capital sins. first prayed 
parents in the past relied on the children to care for them in their old age it was son's duty but the younger son gives no hint of promise to take care of his father when old what is important is his share of inheritance this is a sin of pride second is avarice the younger son wastes what his father worked so hard to accumulate wasting of possessions and hoarding of possessions are two evils of our eyes we also fall under the sin of our eyes because we love to have things and we love to have them just for the sake of having third is envy the elder son son might also have taken note of sirak chapter 3 30 verse 24 which tells us that jealousy and anger short life but is he zealous because his father is fussing over his younger brother or because he wishes he has been the one who has the fun of a squander in the money and coveting with the prostitutes fourth is wrath or anger the elder son's words this un- son of yours so his anger and he throws it into the father's face with self centered pout fifth is lust in verse 30 the elder son accuses his younger brother of ravaging their father's property with the prostitutes in lust we want to grab tea we are craving for sex pleasure this is what the younger son is doing sixth gluttony gluttony it indicates a much greater interest is food isaac of nineveh taught that when the stomach is hungry shameful thoughts cannot enter the soul we should eat only when we are hungry and it is better for the spiritual life to stop eating while still really hungry we would expect gluttony from the younger son for gluttony and the lust go together seventh is sloth or indolence the younger son complains that uh, no one gave him anything why is he waiting around for someone to give him something this is sin of sloth that is dejection sluggishness of mind and feeling and spirit he has desire to make any fundamental change in the way he lives his life to summarize them all the younger son commits five pride avarice lust gluttony and sloth of the seven deadly sins and the father says i still love you the elders and rounds out the seven by doing two and we wrath and even pray to of the deadly sin and the father says i still love you all his love goes to each son each of us is called to reflect on our own sins we might ask ourselves whether we are more like the younger son or the older son and remember that god offers us forgiveness through the sacrament of reconciliation it is up to us to accept the grace god offers us Amen may god bless us